Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I'm so glad that I can take off the masks. That's the only advantage of doing this conference in a remote way. Uh, I would like to thank uh, the Abu Dhabi Global Market uh, for inviting me to participate uh, to this uh, Sustainable Finance Forum and thank the President uh, Ahmed Sayek. Uh, a little bit less than a, a year ago, uh, I, I was in Abu Dhabi for real and I must say I'm longing for coming back for real. But this is the second best uh, option and let me uh, therefore say that I'm very pleased to be participating to the forum as a sustainable finance is very close to my heart. As you can see, my, I'm wearing the, the pins of the sustainable development goals because sustainable finance is part of uh, these 17 uh, objectives. Let me also thank the uh, Abu Dhabi Global Market for the cooperation we have established between um, Abu Dhabi and Luxembourg in the last uh, four years. We have an MOU with Luxembourg for finance and we have also a very good cooperation uh, between the Luxembourg House of Financial Technologies uh, and uh, uh, partners of fintech uh, uh, in Abu Dhabi. Uh, we are uh, discussing sustainable finance in the post-COVID uh, 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 pandemic situation. Now, the question that uh, comes to mind is uh, sustainable finance uh, after this pandemic uh, more necessary, more useful uh, than it was before? The answer is obvious. Um, we've had a life-size test uh, the, of uh, the consequences of human activity and uh, economic uh, activity on the planet. As soon as we slow down uh, the economy, the planet uh, is in better health. So um, the main message uh, that I will have today is about qualitative growth. Uh, we all want more growth, we all want to get out uh, of the stagnation uh, or even of the slowdown that we have experienced worldwide, but we must learn the lesson from what we experience and build back better. Now, the European Union uh, has been, in fact, uh, quite good uh, in its response uh, to the uh, COVID crisis. After a couple of weeks of hesitation, uh, the European Union finance ministers agreed in, in April uh, of last year, uh, last year, three major measures, uh, safety nets uh, to uh, answer uh, the economic consequences of the, of the pandemic, worth 540 billion euro, and then the resilience and recovery fund that was agreed um, in uh, July 2020 um, encompasses 750 uh, billion euro uh, for a resilience and recovery fund at EU level. Now these numbers uh, are staggering but more important than quality I think uh, is to highlight that first obviously uh, the solidarity uh, of the European Union increases the European integration process uh, is uh, consolidated and strengthened. But besides the solidarity, let's not, and the numbers that are huge, let's focus on quality. You has uh, said uh, and decided that uh, these amounts of money should be used mainly for the twin transition that uh, we are witnessing. The one is obviously the green uh, and the climate change aspect on the one hand, and the other one is the digital Transition. In uh, the Recovery and Resilience Fund, 30% of the projects that will be selected will be in the field of uh, climate change. And uh, another priority will also be uh, social uh, expenditures like the SURE program uh, for short labor uh, schemes. All this will be done through sustainable means, sustainable finance. So, uh, for the first time in history, the European Commission will be authorized to lend on behalf of the EU countries and it will do that with green bonds and social bonds. Uh, and uh, for social bonds, the EU Commission will probably very quickly become the largest lender uh, in the world, issuer in the world. That uh, being said, uh, it is also obvious that uh, already now, the euro is the main currency 
for social bonds and for green bonds worldwide. Europe has delivered uh, beyond uh, the public authorities and national governments. Let's also highlight the importance of international financial institutions, uh, especially I would like to highlight the role of the European Investment Bank, which is the real climate bank of the European Union and uh, which will lend more than one trillion in the coming 10 years on projects connected to uh, climate change. Public support, public investments, international financial institutions and obviously the private sector. We must make sure that we can crowd in uh, the private sector on the same qualitative path of growth than we do with public institutions. And I think this is very well underway. A lot needs to be done. Uh, we've seen that in the first three quarters uh, of last year, the amounts uh, of uh, money that go into sustainable investment funds have reached close to $900 billion. Uh, we need more of that because we need to go from the billions to the trillions. And that can only be done if we have a private capital markets union in Europe, uh, if we have a, the right framework uh, for a sustainable uh, finance. The European Union is a leader in that, uh, uh, in the sense that uh, the Commission and the Member States have uh, devised a framework uh, for um, what is uh, sustainable and what is not, what is green and, and what is not. We call that uh, the taxonomy uh, for uh, sustainable investments. And so we have the framework in place to make sure that we are credible when we say that we are boosting uh, sustainable finance. Now, that is what uh, all the actors do around us. What is Luxembourg itself uh, doing here? Uh, we are already a major player in sustainable finance. 20% uh, of the ESG investment funds uh, worldwide uh, are home uh, to Luxembourg. Uh, our stock exchange has set up the Luxembourg Green Exchange that is listing more than half than all the green bonds issued worldwide, including those of the United Nations and, 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 and the World uh, Bank. We are well positioned in this area. We are continue to work closely with lots of partners in this field. Back in September of last year, we have issued a sustainability bond framework that encompasses the criteria of the International Capital Markets Association, ICMA, which takes into account the 17 uh, development goals uh, of uh, the uh, United Nations and the taxonomy of the EU that I uh, mentioned uh, a minute ago. And this is the first such uh, framework that uh, takes into account the latest development in this area. We have issued uh, a, bond, uh, a bond in the aftermath of this, which was largely oversubscribed. And that shows us that the market is uh, waiting for such products is also expecting governments to push into that direction and that the market is ready to absorb and buy uh, such bonds and such financial products. Last but not least, uh, in the coming uh, weeks, I'm going to announce together with the Minister uh, of the Environment of Luxembourg, the Luxembourg Sustainable Finance uh, Initiative, which is going to pave the way for future uh, initiatives in this field. Uh, bottom line of all this is we are reaching out to uh, all countries around the world and especially to financial centers like the one uh, of uh, Abu Dhabi to work together in the field of sustainable finance. Thank you for inviting me here today. Let's stay in touch and hopefully next time we can see each other uh, for real and without a mask.